third time is the lucky one. Yes, third time is the lucky one. Okay, we are live. And it looks like I have a little bit of a challenge here with my screen, but we're going to be uh, getting started here in about 38 seconds. So uh, thanks for tuning in. We're going to be talking with Simona Spielak. This is going to be fantastic. Good times. Um, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. My name is David J. I'm the CEO and founder of Bottleneck Distant Assistance, but that's not why we're here today. Today we're here because we want to help stop the bottleneck in your business. And I am so excited to finally have the one and only Simona Spielak uh, joining us today. We're going to be talking about the three key steps to create a career of your dreams. Uh, she is a business and career coach. And she's also the managing director at SimonaSpielak.com, the BOC Institute. And one of the questions I like to solve here is, how do we stop the bottleneck in your business? And who the heck is Simona? And how the heck can she stop you stop the bottleneck in your business? Well, <clears throat> let me share. Simona is the founder of SimonaSpielak.com. Go check it out. It's an online coaching community. She's a career and business coach. Over the last 20 years, she's helped thousands of clients transition careers, become an entrepreneur, and scale their business rapidly. To handle the demand online, she created a successful dedicated team of 12 for her one-on-one -on -one and mastermind coaching. On top of that, she runs her own consulting agency for major corporations, is a lecturer at the International Business Economics Faculty, and is a regular speaker at regional conferences in Europe. Simona lives with a deep passion for helping others so they can enjoy the same entrepreneurial freedom that she has. And basically that's why we're all here, right? So without any further ado, please welcome Simona Spilak. How are you? Hey, hello, hi. We made it. Finally, hi, good evening. It's evening here in Europe, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for um, just being such a kind and wonderful person. Uh, technology was not very kind to us. <laughs> um, not one, but two occasions. Um, and we are here. So I'm excited. I wonder if maybe we, we can start off, uh, maybe you can introduce yourself, uh, tell us a little bit about your background, and mm -hmm. uh, we'll hop into a wonderful conversation. Yeah, thanks a lot for having me. Yes, you know what? The technology wasn't our friend, but we connected. So we are talking to each other for the fourth time already. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I love that, really. And, you know, actually the business is about people and connection and building that great relationships, which are so authentic and so transparent. And I love that. And actually, those two words are basis of me and my business, being authentic and being transparent. And I learned that a little bit. Uh, during my corporate career, spending 20 years in working for big pharmaceutical giants like GSK, which is a UK or uh, English uh, pharmaceutical giant in Sanofi, and uh, working or coming from a small country like Slovenia, of course, uh, you get that feeling that um, having the exposure and getting this vi visibility, you have to be responsible for several markets. So I always had that business responsibility for uh, nine markets in Central and Eastern Europe or in Adriatic. And so how I learned not only the language of different nationalities and different markets, uh, but as well how to cope with uh, being small and modest, but as well uh, being visible. And this helps me a lot as well with my current business, being a business and career coach and working with a lot of leaders, a lot of experienced professionals who are uh, elevating and accelerating their careers. You see, that's the well, it's important part. <laughs> <laughs> really, and accelerating the, and elevating the career, career is something what I really love because I know what it truly 
has to be there not only to uh, get the awareness but as well to grow and that's my story yeah going from the corporate building my own uh, brick and mortar agency here in slovenia being really active in the field of executive search and translating that brick and mortar business to the online coaching where i really work with um, different people from a lot of different countries and i really what i love is uh, to develop leadership competences and uh, help people grow in their careers but as well as transition in their careers so oh, that's fantastic so you have some experience obviously and so the the theme of the show uh it, well the name of the show is live with bottleneck but the theme mm -hmm. of it is how can we help others stop the bottleneck in their business? Um, mm -hmm. And that can extend out more than just business. Insert word, whatever you like. Uh, mm -hmm. Stop the bottleneck in your life. Stop the bottleneck in whatever it is that you're doing. So some of the biggest challenges, so you, 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 you've worked with a lot of people and you coach them. What are some of the, some of the bottlenecks that you find that you're mm -hmm. able to help people kind of achieve those levels? That's my first question. And then I have a couple following that because I want to talk about your workbook. And I also want to talk about your master class. But, but this first question here, what's some of the things that you can help people with? Mm -hmm. I would say that as per my experience, it's usually the self-awareness of what we really carry with ourselves. Either it is a potential or experience or just a development gap. Let's call it like that. And this awareness, not having it, or sometimes it's like masked with some expectations or limiting beliefs that's the key and usually that's exactly the stage on which we start working with my clients either they're entrepreneurs or corporate people doesn't matter because having the self-awareness what you carry with yourself how confident you can be what you can achieve and build on that those uh, create your aspirational goals on that self-awareness that's something so powerful because it's really it really enables us to move and as soon as we move, we get the feeling that we achieve something and then there is a motivation and of course the progress in development. And what I wanted to say, actually the bottleneck for business owners, entrepreneurs or corporate people, it's kind of similar because if you are a business owner or a corporate employee, it's the same. You have to plan your next step. If you don't plan it, somebody else will. So why? We are our own and we put so many efforts and all the sweat in our development, in our careers, in our business. But then we would leave the planning to somebody else. We do all the business planning and all the, uh, all the forecasting and everything. We do that. But our own career, our own development, our own path. Where, do we, where we would like to land. And that's usually what the self-awareness factor brings in, the awareness, and then what's my next step? What, what am I able to do and what do I miss? And that difference, it, let's call it a gap between where I am today and where I would like to land tomorrow, that's our development plan. And then it's an action plan, what to do with it and where to find an online coach or where to find a mentor or uh, to maybe employ additional people, build your own team because your business needs it. And those are then the so-called bottlenecks. But actually, yeah. for me, those are the opportunities. Yeah, I love that. You know what? There's something to be said for taking responsibility for yourself. Uh, a lot of us. You know, and uh, you know, I can't say a lot of this. I'm going to talk about me for sometimes. I don't do what's in the best interest of me. And why the heck wouldn't I do that? Uh, because I'm scared of maybe work or doing something, you know, that may be uncomfortable for me. Uh, so taking responsibility for myself, I need to take action. And by the way, a mutual friend of ours, Miha, says howdy. Hi, <laughs> Miha, um, is here great? Yeah, I told him I, I told him I most probably managed this time. So. <laughs> <laughs> and we did. <laughs> uh, that's fantastic. Yeah, um, for those of you out there that don't know Miha Matlievsky, uh, he's a wonderful person, and he is the person I can thank for introducing me to Simona. So uh, that was a wonderful introduction. So. The bottleneck is I, I like to kind of put it back on us, right? On mm -hmm. on me, on leaders, on doing this, whatever, team leaders, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I was my own bottleneck. As a matter of fact, this name for our company was born out of a conversation because mm -hmm. that was the word that was used to describe me. And I thought that was brilliant. 
So you find out that the awareness um, and, and, and those terms that you use there, these are things that you can kind of help people kind of mm. kind of be aware of what's happening and then and then take it take the next step. Um, what are some ways that you can help people uh, become aware mm -hmm. and then take that next step? First one absolutely is the uh, so-called profiling tools, which I am using. I am a licensed coach for Seville and for uh, process communication model, which are two different kinds of profiling tools. What was the first one? Uh, uh, profiling tools. First one is Seville, and the second one is process communication model. I'll just explain. I stop a little bit here because I never ever use the word assessment. It's kind of negative. On the other hand, assessment can be binary, like zero or one, but nobody from us is zero. We all have something. So having or looking at your personal profile, either personality profile or uh, professional profile, is something so so grateful and so positive and so motivating because people get the inside they are, what do they bring with them, and where are the opportunities for them to grow? And that's always the feedback which I give. So where are the development opportunities? And we are not all for, we are not all born or created to do the leadership roles, but we can be such a great expert. And it stands for entrepreneurship and for corporate. And we I'm raising that awareness, you know, because if you grow up the corporate ladder or if you, for example, grow uh, in your business, it's important to uh, know. I'm just moving my calendar. <laughs> so it's important to know that you uh, actually can create a great career, can create a great business, but you don't have to do everything by yourself. So either you grow the career as an expert or as a leader, or you create your business as a solopreneur, or you build your business around your team. So it's about your personality profile. That's one of the tools. And But you really have to be a certified or licensed coach really to give a proper feedback to every single individual who decides to have the insight and look into them who they are, and then, of course, decides to work on them. Uh, and the second one, I believe that's a method. It's a coaching. It's, uh, I have the certificate of uh, Ericsson International Coaching, and it's such a great methodology. Is the ICF uh, uh, approved and certified methodology? But it's such a great method because it uh, creates the opportunity for an uh, individual to look for solutions and not for problems. And so not uh, going after goals or problems, but really looking for solutions. And that's why I explain, why I explain that bottleneck is actually the opportunity. Because mm -hmm. if you're in that bottleneck, that squeeze place, there is something going on. Either you are afraid or angry or you do, you are lacking uh, time or there's something going on or lacking the expertise or a skill, but that's the opportunity. Immediately, as we identify that, we have to start looking for a solution. Either, once again, saying, learn something new, add a new team member, go for an external um, advisor or a coach, but we have to do with that bottleneck something. So those are actually great opportunities for growth for businesses and careers. I love it. I think that's fantastic. Uh, th the word opportunity um, mm -hmm. is positive. Yeah. Uh, and as you said, problems, that's negative. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't even like to use the word problem. I like to use the word challenge. Exactly. And exactly. But, you know, people do come with their problems and then you translate them. It's actually a role of, of a coach or a mentor. I, there is a very simple explanation for that, actually. You know, you can understand it like if we have a line here, then this is above the line and this is below the line. Below the line is like a misbelief, excuses, uh, uh, not trying to understand. And above the line, it's about responsibility, ownership, and accountability. And that's where we would like to land. And it's so simple. Just in every single stressful situation, think about that. And that our mind switches on that positive side, how to find a solution. And, and, and even if you don't find the solution, as you said, you're, you're taking a step. Yeah. And, you, you know, you're moving in that right direction. It's not easy. and It's not, you no. know, snap, done, I'm positive. No. <laughs> Absolutely. It takes time. 
It takes energy, efforts, sometimes struggles, but it's part of the game. You know, our life does not consist only of those positive things, but having the positive outlook, or at least our mind uh, being more positive than negative, or at least uh, having that, yeah, attitude, let's call it like that, it provides the opportunity to take, to take that next step. And then nobody knows what awaits there, but whatever we, whatever the new step is, is a new learning. So, yeah, it creates the opportunity for growth. I would say yeah. it like that. <laughs> I I, I totally agree. Um, can you t tell me something about the workbooks, um, the workbook that we have where four techniques of decision making? I think this is um, a lot of stuff. It's a good one. No, it's a good one because usually, you know, people do come to me and they're like, okay, I have to decide. Either there are two job opportunities or there is either staying in my corporate career or building my own business, so transition or not. And making decisions in life can be really hard and that workbook and it's actually it's a bundle it's a video lesson and a workbook it's so great because it includes four techniques which really can help you make a quick and a right decision so the right decision in the right time and you can choose between those four, uh, four techniques and that's why it's a great opportunity and uh, uh, being having a combination of video and ebook i believe it even helps everybody because sometimes we love more to listen than to read. So yeah, that's that's part of a lot of my uh, coachings because decision making it's always like key topic like uh, solving uh, difficult relationships or communication or some leadership skills like how to really uh, be a leader as a coach. So one of one of the key, I would say, leadership competences, but as well business owner competences. It, it, can you repeat the last part of that? Yeah, that I believe that decision making is one of the key leadership competences, but as well business owners competences, because you have to uh, decide or you are deciding in every single m moment situation and making a decision. You know, at the end of the day, it's not only about being really excellent in uh, acquiring those four techniques. The uh, Making decision, I believe, has to do a lot with courage. And I would say a managerial courage because it's on you and those difficult, really sometimes risky situations. It's about courage to make that decision. And I believe it uh, comes down to the not only knowledge and expertise, but as well evaluating what might happen in the future, which is, of course, unknown. And then uh, somehow minimizing that uh, unknown part and create, a, let's call it like positive atmosphere so people mm. will be engaged. And as soon as you create engagement, you will be able to create a better result based on the decision you've taken, either sing, uh, alone, individually, or in a group. Oh, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. I, I wanted to move on to another part uh, mm -hmm. that so you and I were talking right before we got on. Uh, we have this little green room here in, stream, in StreamYard to kind of talk before and, and after our, uh, our conversation that isn't recorded. And I am, I love the fact that I can grow on social. And I just want to throw that out there. Congratulations. You had a big milestone. That's fantastic. Um, but you're also doing something else right now with a master class. And yeah. you know, I had that growth on social media because I'm in front of the launch. <laughs> so it's a promotional <laughs> promotional period. <laughs> I do know I never I'm not a salesy person, so I never really like put it out there. But yeah, it's a it's a very it's in so interesting and such a dynamic and fantastic period of my life. <laughs> and yeah, we have that master class. I have a launch on a Thursday. 7 p.m. CET time, Central European time. Of course, everybody invited. If you would like to join us, you can uh, register on the link here, which Jamie just posted. Um, yeah, and I I noticed that growth on my LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is my uh, basic and key platform, being a corporate person, of course. Uh, we all start there, and that's as well where I believe I have that biggest trust factor. So that's great. But on the other hand... Uh, 
Uh, there are also other platforms, and I yeah, I love I uh, I just know, uh, share with you that I got the hundred subscribers on my YouTube channel, which is like all small but growing. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's the landing page. Yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> so when um, so yeah, obviously I think that's amazing that you were able to do that. Um, and I wanted to share that on the screen so people knew where to go. Oh, thanks a lot. Who who is the person? Who is that person that will get the most out of this masterclass? Hmm. If you are an experienced professional having like 10 years of experience or a leader, either a first time leader or somebody who already has an established team, then that's for you. Because if you are really struggling or you do know that you can get that promotion this year and you have the knowledge and experience really to rise and rise up the corporate ladder, but you somehow don't know how to tackle that or either you have a feeling that everybody else is getting it and you don't, then you should join me because I will be explaining step-by-step -step method how to get that promotion really fast and what needs to be there to get that promotion and what needs to be there to uh, elevate the career constantly because people usually uh, believe that if they work hard that that's enough but it's not enough working hard but not land your promotion but really creating a plan working on your visibility and most importantly building those strong relationships with different mm -hmm. managers in the organization this will help you uh, dramatically in building your career and getting the promotion so that's yeah. the story of my master class <laughs> but in so, more depth so it's not a lot just yeah I, I just wanted to be clear on that because if, if this is somebody that is and they can be anywhere in the world correct yeah Anywhere. If you uh, uh, like the uh, morning or the afternoon time, of course, uh, do join us, but register because there, of course, will be a replay available as well. So you will not miss it. But yeah, I yeah. believe it would be a great one. It's one hour, so it will be like compact and I will share. I will not over teach, but I will share the key steps so you will be able to use them immediately. Very practical things, tools to implement. And then, of course, uh, create your own path and grow I love and that promotion. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. So you have this going on. You have your master class. Uh, you have the, the workbooks and things like that going on. What's kind of next for you? Oh, uh, next for me, I have that brick and mortar agency, which I'm constantly still supporting and still do the business development. It's B2B business, really with the corporate and big international companies. But uh, on the online, Next is really to focus uh, and to develop my business in the way to uh, be high-end client focused. So I will really work with high-end clients, which really uh, either want to elevate not only their career, but as well the business, because I believe I carry that strong experience which is really business experience from the corporate and knowing uh, and really living different functions but as well uh, different parts of organization having the understanding of processes and structure that's a huge and valuable knowledge and i believe i can use that really to impact a lot of businesses not only careers but as well businesses so this most probably will be uh my next step and so have you have you have you built out the processes um, or is that what you're you're working on for your next step or is have you already built out the foundation for everything? Uh, no, actually, that's still in the phase of building. So I'm still learning. I'm uh, as well like discovering in between where exactly is my place. So I wouldn't say that I'm 100 percent there. Actually, I wouldn't like to be 100 percent somewhere. So that's the that's the interesting part. You know, that's where that. <laughs> that's yeah, where I mean, the adventure exists. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you're uncomfortable, you're in the right spot. Yeah, yeah right? exactly, exactly, exactly. I love that. Um, and one of the things that I wanted to to um, comment on really fast or kind of elaborate on was that when you're talking about systems and how important those were, so that so that you could that's something that you share with your clients as well and those you're assisting. No matter what it is, it's so important to have a process, have a game plan, 
And a lot of people don't know where to start. So they need a coach. They need, you know, somebody to kind of um, put into perspective what their challenges mm -hmm. are, mm -hmm. what they need, what areas they need to take action on. And then it's kind of like a, a compass. You kind of need mm -hmm. to point them in a direction um, that they need to go. And while someone may say, well, it's fat over here, it's flat on you know, ground, it's going to be a lot easier to walk over here. This is a mountain right there. I don't want to walk up the mountain. I'm going to go. But that may turn out to be the wrong way to go. Maybe you have no idea what's on the other side of that. Mm -hmm. That's the reason that, you know, someone like yourself is so instrumental. Uh, but in you know what? It, it's not only about, I learn it hard way as well. You know, you can do everything by yourself, but it's so simple. But you have to get that awareness that if you find help, if you decide that you would love to have a mentor and you would love to have a coach, then you will move much, much faster. Because it's not, you know, we don't copy. Whatever, I constantly have one or two mentors or a coach because I love it. They put me out of my comfort zone and that's great because then, then I'm capable to create more, go faster. Anyway, I'm not a patient person, but, so, <laughs> but you know, it's such a great thing because you, you are not copying. Nobody will ever as a coach or a mentor give you a template and say, that's how you do it. And then you'll be successful. No, because the magic is in creating our own style, our own art. And that's such a beauty, but you know, to be able to do it fast and really impactful and big, it's good to have the foundation, which can be a mentor or a coach, and then it can be so much easier and so less stressful, and it can be more enjoyable too. Yeah. So. so stop the bottleneck. Get out of your own way. <laughs> exactly. But you know, you are doing a similar thing, which is great supporting entrepreneurs and businesses with having that uh, support system which doesn't have to be like internal, but just to rent it and you can move much, much faster and grow faster. And then at the end of the day, it's not so much about the growth of the business and uh, creating the turnover and the revenue. It's also our personal growth and the impact which you can create out of that, not only as a uh, individual and business owner, but as well as your team, how you can support their, devel their development, the development of your team if you are really investing in your own development. So it, I'm a firm believer in that. It, it's all the difference. Well, it, you know, and that's a, and I can go off on a tangent here too, but it's a re whole reason why I don't believe in that word work-life balance. I just believe in life balance. <laughs> it's, you you know, know, it's, so, it's so individual. It's really so individual. It, it really relates to the period of life we are in. And then uh, I believe that it's really connected to the fact that you don't only do what you love and what you're good at, but that you're also very well paid for it. And then there is the balance. So, and usually people mix that passion, which is I love doing it and I'm good at it. And then I'm passionate about it and that's it. But you know what? At the end of the day, you have to earn with that what you love and what you are good at enough money so you can afford vacation, you can afford a weekend off, or you can afford having a free afternoon with your children. So and th that's the balance. Yep. And, oh. I love it. I love it. Well, this is fantastic. Um, we're coming towards the the top of the, the half hour here. Is there anything else that you'd like to say before we wrap? Um, I'll just say believe in yourself, uh, set that goal, and then dream of it. And the rest is just logistics and hard work because you will get it there if you dreamed it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So last thing is, how do people get in touch with you? You notice that the lower thirds are coming across there, but how? where can they go to learn more about you? Yeah, sure. On my LinkedIn page, it's Simona Spilak or my YouTube channel. <laughs> so, And then, of course, there is a web page, simonaspilak.com. All the informations are there. But if you would really love to have a personalized advice or a personal chat, as well as breakthrough coaching with me, which is fully complimentary, you can reserve a breakthrough call with me. It's on the web page or my LinkedIn as well. So it's an opportunity. So if you would like to get to know me better or if you believe you're a good fit, then reserve a call and get in touch with me. I absolutely love it. So, <laughs> Well, I just tell, I, I, I cannot recommend enough. The energy that you have is infectious in such a good way. 
And uh, I, I can't recommend enough uh, <laughs> how amazing you are and how uh, and a lot of people, you know, rightfully so. It's, it's tough to toot your own horn. It's really good when it comes from somebody else. And I say this uh, with uh, full transparency. You're probably one of the smarter people I've ever met. <laughs> and, you make me blush. I'm really yeah. bad in saying thank you for coming. <laughs> well, the, the thing that I like about it is you're incredibly talented. You're gifted. Your intelligence level is through the roof. But you also have such a huge heart. You're super kind. Uh, mm -hmm. one, of the, one of the things we do here is we lead with kindness. No matter what position, you will not see an org chart in this mm -hmm. company. It's a flat line. Everybody mm -hmm. there but everybody leads with kindness. And yeah. uh, I love to associate myself with people that do that. And that is you, that is uh -huh. very, very much so it's you. So I just wanted to let everybody else know that, uh, that you are an amazing person and just wanted to say thank you uh, for, yeah, for your gifts of sharing with what your knowledge with so many people. Thanks a lot, thanks a lot. You know what? I am the grateful one here because you gave me the opportunity to share what I love, uh, what I really carry with me. And that's so, uh, such a big treasure. So thanks a lot. And I really uh, love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I always say coming, really coming from that small little tiny uh, country where we have only 2 million inhabitants in the whole country. <laughs> 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 really, you know, sometimes, sometimes I ask myself, is it guts? Is it courage? What is it? But, you know, if you truly believe that you can change something in the world, then you are not afraid to share it. And, uh, and you're giving the opportunity as I'm giving, uh, as I'm having it today with you. So thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Thank you, Simona. <laughs> and I am, um, if, is there anything else you'd like to say before we I believe we shared a lot. I yeah. didn't share <laughs> my heart of sun, but doesn't matter. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Can you can you hold on just for a quick second and I'll wrap? Sure, sure, sure. sure. So oh, thanks a lot. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, this is uh this has been a wonderful conversation. It, it, you see, she's just so vibrant, a lot a ton of fun. Uh her name, Simona Spilak. She's a business and career coach. She's managing director at SimonaSpilak.com. Um, and here's her website there, SimonaSpilak.com. That's S-I-M-O-N-A-S-P-I-L-A-K.com. She's incredibly uh, um, situated on LinkedIn, so go visit her there. Um, reach out to her and you can check a little bit more. You can also follow her on Facebook and Instagram. And congratulations to her to, for achieving 100 subscribers on YouTube. That's fantastic. Go follow her there. You can learn a lot more about her there. And uh, as we said, uh, there's the free workbook that she's doing. You can go to Simona Spilak. Um, uh, dot, it, it, there's a long one here, so I'll copy it and put it in the comments there. Uh, but then you can also go and learn about the master class that she's doing on Thursday. So I want to say thank you. And then coming soon on Live with Bottleneck, um, Thursday, January 28th, is Trey Taylor. So Trey Taylor is going to be joining us. Um, and Trey Taylor... This guy's pretty doggone incredible. He's a, uh, we're going to be talking about what a CEO only does three things. Um, this guy is pretty talented, uh, wonderful, wonderful human being, very kind as well. Do you notice a trend? Um, so, uh, yeah, so excited for that coming up. And that's happening Thursday, January 28th at 2 p.m. Central. That's 3 p.m. Eastern. Again, thank you so much for tuning in to Live with Bottleneck. If you want to learn more about Simona, please check out uh, the, the sites. You can follow us on YouTube and LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter. We're all over the place. Thank you for stopping the bottleneck in, in your business. Remember, create your own ripple. We'll talk to you soon.